So in the last lecture, we have started discussing about simple ways to detect communities. We have discussed, you know, clique, k clique, k clan, k club, right, k core, and so on. So today we'll discuss two important metrics, very important metrics that we use for community detection for graph clustering. Okay. The first one is CART. I'm sure that you have heard about this terminology before. It's called CART and mean CART problem particularly, right? So what is a CART? So, you know, so basically a cart is a partition of nodes of a graph into disjoint sets. So the idea is that, say you have a graph like this and you, you want to identify edges which upon deletion, after deletion creates, uh, you know, it, it, uh, after deletion create two different uh, partitions. For example, if I cut here, you get this as one partition and the remaining as another partition. Okay. Uh, if I if I say cut uh, if I cut here, right, I get one partition here, another partition here. Right. So what's the mean cut problem? The mean cut problem is to find out a, uh, such a cut, okay, which is minimum. Right. So. Uh, so, so basically this is the definition that find a graph partition such that the number of edges between the two sets is minimized. Okay. So let's, let's think of uh, this problem carefully. So if you, if you think of this network, right, uh, and if you, if you use mean cut problem, so obviously the output would be which one should cut here because this is only one edge that will be removed if we cut here, right? But if we cut here, two, two edges will be removed, right? But think about it carefully. If I cut here, right, we will have one community with a single node and another community with a lot of nodes. It's an imbalanced community, imbalanced partition. And we generally do not want to detect imbalanced communities. Okay. We generally want to detect communities which are balanced, right? So the obvious choice would be to, you know, not to cut here, not to cut here, but to cut here. So if I cut here, we'll see that it will create two, it will, it, it, it will basically create two partitions. In one partition, there would be four nodes. In another partition, there would be five nodes and the, part, the part, partitions will be balanced. Okay. So mean cut problem oftentimes returns imbalanced partition. Therefore, we will, will what we'll do, we will modify the uh, you know, mean cut uh, metric in a different ways. Okay? So we define something called ratio cut. What is a ratio cut? Ratio cut is defined in this way. So it's a, it's a fraction where the numerator is the cut, meaning that we have two partitions and cut of partition C i C i bar. So what is C i C i bar? So say this is C one, right? Say this is C one, and the rest of the network is C one bar. Okay. So G minus C one is C one bar. Okay. Uh, so what what is ratio cut? So the numerator is the cut itself. The edges between two communities, one is C i and other is C i bar and the, the denominator, that's the numerator and the denominator is the size of the size of the community. Okay, I will take an example and I will discuss. Okay, so this is ratio cut. Uh, what is, there is another modified definition of a cut called normalized cut. What is normalized cut? It's the same as ratio cut. The only difference is that in the denominator, now we have uh, instead of the size of the community, now we have the volume of a community. And how, what do you mean by volume of a community? Volume of a community is the sum of degrees of all the nodes present in the community. The sum of degree of all the nodes present in the community. That's the volume of a community. So I'm normalizing it by the volume of a community. Okay. So let's take an example. Okay. This, this, this example and let's, 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 um, you know, let's uh, measure the value of uh, ratio cut and um, uh, normalized cut. Okay. Let us assume that 
let us take this as a cut. Okay, if I take this as a cut, what would be the value of the ratio cut and what would be the value of the normalized cut? Okay, if I cut here, we will have two communities. This is one and this is another. Okay, so what is the ratio, definition of ratio cut? So the ratio cut and let us say this partition is called pi 1 and later on I will also, uh, you, I, I will also calculate the same for this partition, this would be pi 2. So ratio cut of pi 1 is what? Again go back to the definition 1 by k. What is k? k is the number of partitions. k is the number of partitions that are going to be created. Okay? So this would be if I cut here there will be 2 partitions. So 1 by 2. Okay? Then, then what we have cut of so let us say this is C1, this is this is C2. right? So C1 comma C1 bar by divided by uh, size of C1 plus cut C2 comma C2 bar divided by mod of C2. Again cross check it, this is the definition. right? For every partition, for every community, you have this one. Okay? So, so this would be half. What is the cut of C1? So this is C1 and this is C1 bar. Okay, the remaining uh, graph is C1 bar. What's the cut size? Cut size is one. So this would be one divided by what's the size of C1? One plus cut cut C2. So this is C2 and so and this is C2 bar. Okay, so cut would be one divided by size of the C2 is 8. There are 8 nodes. right? If you calculate this would be 0.56. Okay? So, this is ratio cut for pi 1. What is the ratio cut of ratio cut of pi 2? So, if I if I calculate in the same manner I will have this one I will have. So, this is pi 2. C1, C2. So, this would be 1 by 2 because again another 2 partitions, <coughs> right? Cut of C1, comma C1 bar by mod of C1 plus cut of C2, comma C2 bar by mod of C2. So, half cut C1, C1 bar 2 because, because there are 2, uh, there are there are uh, you know two edges, so this would be two divided divided by what's the size of C one? One, two, three, four, five. Plus, plus, again, cut is two, and what's the size of C two? One, two, three, four. So if we calculate, this would be zero point four five. Okay. So ratio cut of pi one is 0 0.56. Ratio cut of pi two is 0 0.45. So, which one to choose? Which partition to choose? Remember, our task is to minimize the ratio cut. Minimize the cut, minimize the ratio cut. Here we are trying to minimize the objective function. Okay? So, we will definitely choose this one because this partition will give you minimum ratio cut. So, we will cut here. And that, that was also our choice. So, ratio cut will give you the ideal solution. Okay? Now, let us look at the second uh, way which is the normalized cut and let us see whether the normalized cut will also give you the same uh, same result. Okay? So, pi 1. So, normalized cut of pi 1 is let us go back and see the definition 1 by k sum over all k cut of cut and then volume. Volume is the sum of degree of all the nodes. right? So, half uh, uh, right? um, we have say let us say this is c 1 and this is again C2, right? So cut C1, C1 bar would be 1 divided by the volume of uh, the C1 is there is only one node and the degree is 1, so this would be 1 plus uh, cut of C2, C2 bar is 1 divided by the volume of C2 would be the sum of all the degree. So the degree is 3, <coughs> 3, 2, 4, 4, 
4 and this one is also 3 and this is degree 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so 6, 8, 12, 16, 19, 27. This will be 0 0.52. Okay, and normalized cut for pi 2. So this is this is pi 2. Okay, let us again erase it, and uh, we'll have another partition, which is pi 2. Normalized cut of pi 2 would be half. Right? What's the cut? So say this is C1, and this is C2. Okay, cut size is 2. So 2 by uh, uh, the volume of C1, the volume of C1 would be if you calculate, you see that I think this would be, uh, let us see, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, right? This is 1, 2, 3, 4, this is 3, the degree is 1, 2, 3, 4, right? 16, right? Plus 2 by, if you sum it up, you will see this is 12. So the this value would be 1 point, uh, point 0.15, right? So which one is minimum? This one is minimum. So again, pi 2 will be chosen. So ratio cut and normalized cut will produce the same output and the output would be a balanced partition, okay? Uh, mean cut problem is also NP complete, right? So uh, we generally try, try to relax it. So what's the, what's the, you know, what's the definition of a community according to the conduct tense or cut, right? So the definition of a community is that community is a group of nodes where we only look at the edges across communities, right? So it should be sparsely connected externally. Right, so uh, cut or ratio cut, right? So particularly cut. So cut does not look at the structure within a community. It only looks at the structure, you know, across communities and try to minimize. It basically tries to minimize it. Okay. The second metric that we use is called age betweenness, and the age betweenness metric is something that we, you know, we already discussed in in um, in one of the in one of the lectures earlier, right? We discussed something called between centrality, okay? And we also mentioned that uh, you can you can actually recast it for edges where uh, we look at all pairs of shortest paths and in, in how many such pairs of shortest paths this particular edge exists, right? <coughs> this is exactly same. So let's let's think of uh, let's measure the between uh, edge betweenness of this edge one two. Right? So we take all pairs, but in most of the pairs, this edge will not come. Therefore, so those pairs will not be considered. Right? But we need to consider this pair, 1, 2, because in 1, 2, there is only shortest path. There is only one shortest path, and in this shortest path, the edge 1, 2 exists. So this would be 1 by 1. Okay? And we also need to consider all the other nodes. Um, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 with respect to 2. So we need to consider, you know, 2, 4, y, 2, 5, 2, 6, 2, 7, 2, 8, 2, 9. Why? Because when you measure the shortest path be between say 2 to 4, okay, this is one shortest path size 2, this is another shortest path size 2, right? So between 2 to 4, there are two shortest paths. And among these two shortest paths, there is one shortest path where this edge 1, 2 exists. So for 1, 2, this would be 1, for, for 2, 4 pair, this would be 1 by 2. There are two shortest paths and in one shortest path, the edge 1, 2 exists. Similarly, for 2, 5, 2, 5, you can move through this or you can move through this, right? Again, 1 by 2. This would be again 1 by 2, 1 by 2, 1 by 2. So there are six such pairs. So this would be 6 by 2. So 6 by 2 plus 1 uh, is, is, is 4. So 4 is the edge betweenness of this edge 1, 2. So how do we detect community here? So first we measure edge betweenness of all edges. Okay. So if the edge has higher edge betweenness, it basically means that it comes across communities. 
it basically falls between communities therefore whenever you basically wants to want to traverse through uh, you know uh, nodes and edges you need to encounter this edge so the first task is we measure the uh, edge betweenness of all the edges and then we remove those edges whose edge betweenness is maximum okay so this is the edge betweenness metric you see that these are nodes 1 to 1 to 1 to 9 and again 1 to 9 and each such entry indicates an appear right 1 2 so this is 1 3 right this is 1 4 now if there is an edge between this pair say for example this 1 4 right 1 4 is this edge and this entry indicates the edge betweenness of this edge so 9 is the edge betweenness of the edge 1 4 right so i calculate the edge betweenness of all the edges and then i identify the edges which have uh, which have uh, maximum edge betweenness so the edges you see here these and this meaning 4 5 4 5 and 4 6 so this is also 5 4 and 5 4 and uh, 4 5 and 4 6 this is this is also 4 5 and 4 6 so 4 5 and 4 6 are the edges which we remove so if i remove these two edges what would happen we will have the resultant graph on the resultant graph we again measure the edge betweenness of all the edges identify the edges which have maximum edge betweenness remove them and you keep on doing this thing again and again right so think about it when we remove 4 5 and 4 6 you will have 1 2 3 4 and this one 5 6 7 8 9 right then again then which one you remove if you calculate you will see then then this edge will be removed after that then you will have 5 6 7 8 and 9 so it depends on how many i mean either you keep on removing edges until unless you see all the nodes you know are separated or you stop uh, at certain point if you see that okay i do not need more than three communities for example more than four communities so if you stop here you will you will get one two three communities okay now if the number of communities is available beforehand so you can stop there right you can stop accordingly and remember this also kind of gives you uh, the notion of hierarchical community right because you see here this is the first hierarchy right this is a second level hierarchy this is the second level hierarchy so this is basically a hierarchical structure so therefore i mentioned earlier that you do not need to explicitly detect hierarchical communities it will automatically get identified when we uh, detect uh, community structure okay so uh, i stop here uh, in the in the next part we will discuss a very important metric called modularity so modularity is a metric which is which has been extensively studied in the network science community and we will see that how we can use modularity for community detection okay thank you mm -hmm.